Something that might not be immediately obvious about Mantis B, um, but that is well known in the community, is that although you have a defense drone, it's not completely reliable at shooting down missiles, and in particular, the shields and drones rooms are vulnerable because they're towards the front of the ship. Um, and any missiles that are coming from this area are not going to get shot down by your defense drone. If it's coming from over here, then sure, the defense drone will target it. Uh, the drone can also miss missiles heading to other systems, but that is much less likely. Um, and what this means is that a lot of players will look at a fight like this and think, oh, well, this is completely safe. You know, they just have a missile and a heavy laser. Um, it's really not. This fight could be incredibly dangerous. This could actually murder you. Um, we can't just board because they have a med bay, of course. We talked about that previously. Um, so the tactic here would be to run them out of missiles and then you can board fine. The problem would be if this Artemis goes into drone control, uh, potentially it causes a breach as well, it switches off our defense drone. At least we have a buffer against a Leto missile, but an Artemis is really dangerous. And then it would just take two Artemises into shields um, to let the heavy laser go live. So for example, that one was heading for, I think it was drones, um, but the defense drone did shoot it down because it was coming from over here. Uh, that's fine. And most of the time you'll be absolutely fine, right? Most of the time. We just run them out of missiles. But this, this situation can and has ended massive win streaks. And this time I think we're going to be okay. Okay, sure, now we just win. But here is an example of how the defense drone can fail, and now we don't have a defense drone working. It's going to take some time for our Mantis to repair it. Uh, potentially you can see how this could spiral out of control, especially if you've got a breach in drone control and if they then target your shields with two missiles. Okay, what I'm going to show you now is um, another way that you can defend against the missile. And uh, just to make it easier for me to demonstrate, I've sped up this Artemis, it's firing every two seconds and I've given them a, a huge reserve of missiles, so they'll effectively fire forever. And I'm just gonna wait and see when we have a missile that's that's heading to drone control, uh, or possibly shields, actually. Let's see what happens. And I will cut to when that happens. Okay, here comes one heading to possibly drones. I did actually get hit in shields. Oh no, it's it's actually heading to shields. So this is gonna be real difficult. It is heading shields, right? I'm I'm holding up a, a piece of paper to my screen and lining it up with the missile. I'll give this a go. This is really, really hard, but it might work. Uh, the drone is just not gonna shoot it down. Uh, and I know it's not going to shoot it down. It's going like here. And then there. Okay. What I'm going to do now is switch off the defense drone because I know it's not going to work and I will turn on the boarding drone. Check this out. I mean, okay, we're still fucked, right? <laughs> but uh, that's because they're firing Artemises every two seconds and they just hit me twice in shields. The point is, uh, we block that missile. And as you can see, our boarding drone is destroyed. So uh, we actually blocked it with the boarding drone. I suppose I should turn on the defense drone, really. Now, 
how that worked is, is quite simple. FTL doesn't really have any concept of three dimensions. Uh, it's a two-dimensional game. There's just an order in which things are painted on the screen. So uh, some items, if they overlap, one is going to go on top of the other. And the boarding drone, when you deploy it, it starts exactly in the center of drone control. And it then moves out of that in a straight line um, across the screen and then it comes into the enemy ship. And just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Uh, and as far as FTL is concerned, this is just another collision. Obviously not going to save us in, in this case, but uh, you don't normally face enemies who are firing Artemis missiles at you every two seconds. Alright, just to um, help understand this a bit better, I've loaded up another fight uh, where we're just facing a very fast Leto missile instead. And I've like super upgraded my ship. Um, so we can just play around with this more. And the other thing I'm going to do is uh, use something which uh, the Swift Tiger gave me for this, which is incredibly helpful. Um, it's it's so great to have people who are, are so knowledgeable uh, in programming in the community and, and who are uh, very willing to, to help. Um, he just volunteered it, by the way. I was asking uh, how to do something, and it's just like, here, have this. Uh, so thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. Um, let's see, one second. I'm using Cheat Engine here. And I'm just going to change a couple of values. Okay. So the point about this is that uh, we've made the, the ship floor transparent. In fact, let's get rid of the shields as well. Um, translucent. And now we can see where the boarding drone is. Uh, this one actually I think isn't going in, but uh, I want to show you what its behavior is like. If we turn it on, there it is. We can turn it off. And it just stays in the center of the room. And as you can see, that's not generally very effective if it's in the exact center, unfortunately. Um, so this, there you go again. At that time it got destroyed, but only because the missile had already missed. Um, so without the evasion, that just wouldn't have worked. If you don't let it move at all, it's it seems to be more hit and miss. As far as I can tell, there's no way to make this really, really reliable, um, at least not with missiles that are coming from more directly from the sides of the room as opposed to in front. If a missile that's coming quite directly in front or like an angle like this, I think you can do it fairly well. But the hitbox on the drone isn't quite big enough to just sit there in the center and block all the missiles. And now I also want to show you that you might think you can prepare this in advance so you can do something like this. You can deploy it and then unpause and turn it off. But then it often will just zoom out a bit. It has this momentum and now it's too far forwards. So what you have to try to do is wait until the missile is um, very close to landing uh, and then deploy the drone just slightly, slightly ahead. Uh, it's quite difficult to time, um, at least if the missile is coming from up here. Uh, I'm not even sure if this one can be done consistently at all. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the boundaries are here. Right, we know the defense drone isn't going to shoot it. So when is the right moment to deploy? Yeah, it, it just doesn't quite work, I think. It, it's just a bit too close there. If it had been more like coming in from here, maybe. Okay, this one is nice because we can deploy a little bit early. Like that. Oh, great. <laughs> just send another one on exactly the same trajectory, fine. Screw you, FTL. And that's all there is to it. It's not going to work every single time. 
as you can see it's it's quite tricky um, but with a bit of practice you can do it it's especially not going to defend against shields that much because obviously the missile has to pass through drones and it has to pass through you know this part of drones in order to use this defense uh, but I just think it's it's quite fun uh, I think actually I think it's hilarious. It's one of the silliest things that I've seen in the game uh, and I uh, hope you found that interesting.